Hello there, and this is Frank Shedd. Our special guest today are a highly acclaimed pair of virtuosos. They've been playing in a, in a brilliantly eclectic uh, musical collective now for a few years, and now we're about to see them cut loose and uh, have some fun as a duo. Please welcome Shane Booth and John Davidson. Welcome to the shed, lads. Shed Central. Hey, Shane, John, oh, great to meet you, you again. Good to have you aboard anyway. It's a nice pleasure. Thank you for having us here. Oh, sure. Brilliant. Lovely. First time for everything, First huh? First time down in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so, um, so you, uh, you have been playing your trade formally as, um, as part of the, the highly esteemed uh, collective, uh, well, when I say collective, I mean like um, music and dance troupe, known to many as uh, Global Trad Underground. So um, now your, your partnership now, is that kind of born of this mutual musical understanding since? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. kind of you just you're you're on the same page all the time. And yeah, it's kind of global trad's a big thing, and we kind of wanted to keep the same kind of music going. So it's yeah. that taking a sense of scaling down and getting just back to the real basics, no samplers, no drum machines, no that's it. Yeah, and it's, it's and vocals and whatever. We can easier do. to put on a live show as well. You don't it's have much, to spend money to make money. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Global yeah. trad is, but um, yeah, and the same taking Shane songs. And taking some of my fiddle tunes and trying to place them together. Yeah, put it together. together you know, put a nice true line, like through the true all of yeah, it. It's a really yeah. ambitious mix, now, I must say. It's not something you see around here too often. So, yeah. so I hope it picks up for you anyway. Yeah, so, um, first off, we're going to delve straight into your tunes anyway. So, do you want to talk about your first song and um, give us a little bit of info about it? Hornpipe One. Yeah, Hornpipe One. It's just Hornpipe One. I wrote a hornpipe after finishing my jazz course and I wanted to write it in a really difficult key and not in a key that <laughs> it would normally be written in if it was, say, a Scottish or an Irish hornpipe. They tend to write them in simpler keys. No. So I wanted to do something slightly jazzy but slightly traditional as well. And then and this, is, this is where I started trying to just keep up with John. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm still. laughs> Still trying. <laughs> 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 they practice. 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 They practice.
next up we have Full Shadow. No, right. and uh, what can you tell us? I was it's, in, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, it's, go on it's, it's it. basically it's a it's a mental tune in a mental time signature, which is really difficult to figure out at first. But then once you get it, it's fine. Like yeah. you know, seven it's eight. Not, so. I'm not so smart. Like after all, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wrote it after um, it was in California. We went down this beach boulevard. There was all these massive houses, little like Disney houses, you know, and all the rich people stayed there. And all the houses were trying to outdo one another, and the locals called it Faux Chateau. Oh, nice. So I thought, yeah, I'll do. So that's where the name came from, then the tube kind of came later. So. Excellent. Well, um, here we go Faux Chateau. Enjoy. Some call it I blame you. Um, Actually, and yeah, I guess like we we do a lot of folk and stuff, uh, but we try and branch out into different areas, and uh, it's a bit of a bit of a country song. Yeah, bit of a crooner. Yeah, trying to get that country feel on it, you know. Yeah, and, so. uh, yeah it's I think like in all the tunes, the lyrically there's a good bit of symbolism. So. Yeah. And in, in true country yeah, fashion, yeah, somebody's yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they yeah, have to get their lyrics of vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I think people can take out with uh, what they want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> see Shane, he you. Yeah. Fire away! <laughs> 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
for all the crazy things you do. And I get crazy too. Hey, go away, you go away. You only smile when it's snowing. You know that I love you. You know I really do. With your long dark. Devil make it. You know I love you. You know I really do. And I wasn't looking for salvation. That just came by to see a smile. Guess that'll do me for a while And you've been talking to strangers And I should have seen it on the news well, I've got nothing left to take And you've got nothing left to break Said I took you for granted. I guess that you did the same. Now I'm sitting broken hearted. I just can't seem to hide the pain. I'll be relieved You know I love you You know I really do And I wasn't looking for salvation And I just came back
lastly we have? Uh, where is the sound gone? Uh, again, symbolism. Um, it's there's a couple of different themes throughout, um, but it's and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty actually a po really positive song. I think yeah. good stuff. Even though it may not appear to be. There. <laughs> 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 no, it's just uh, kind of uh, lots of mad finger picking folk kind of music and long drums, uh, Gregorian chanting like harmonies and whatnot. Oh, nice one. Quite a, quite a spacey tune. Sounds ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, well, um, get stuck in, lads. project together uh, did you have any specific goals or styles in mind we're still trying to define a style I suppose but 
Mm. I still quite thinking I stay off it. But. Do you really want to define or do you want to just blur the lines as much as you can? Uh, well, kind of, we thought we could go down with just like folk because folk's a really wide gamut of like suggestion of style of music, but I don't know. It still it's kind of underestimates what you're capable of, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe. Fuck you, man. I wasn't saying a bad word again. Fuck you, man. I don't know. It's got, it's, it does have a lot of everything in it, really. Yeah. I think when you listen to the tunes, one, it's hard to kind of take two tunes together and say that's one. There's, yeah, like, yeah. So. there's gypsy, there's trad, there's classical, there's bits of bluegrass, country, there's yeah. country. Prog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very heady brew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't like the prog word over here. <laughs> 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 John's, John's Take a the, step uh, back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm learning. Actually, yeah. <laughs> in, in, in our meaning of the term prog and progressive, I suppose, you think prog, you think. 70s prog rock. You think yeah, progressive, you think, you know, <laughs> you can't define it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and that's cool. And um, the, was, was the vocal harmonies a big part of, um, you know, um, why you got together as well? Because your voices complement each other very well, I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I think like having, having good harmonies is like having an extra couple of instruments. Yeah. Even, yeah. you know, it's just, it's great. Adds a lot to it. And uh, yeah, I think the, the tracks, the, the vocal tracks anyway, have a bit of kind of uh, background in culture and yeah. a bit of Irishness and Scottishness. Scottishness and, and, and the harmonies kind of thing as well. Yeah. Yeah. This one. And um, if you had to pick a favourite aspect of working together? And just being able to work with somebody and be creative and do something and, and come to a finished product on it, you know, where you both go, hey, that's yeah. really good. You appreciate one another's work to get to that finished stage. Yeah. Just like yeah, yeah to go through the whole process of like musical conversation yeah. and ideas, suggestions, yeah. and not yeah. fall out. You know. Yeah, and, that's you that's know, a very still, important. Still part, be friends yeah. at the end of it. So it's <laughs> the malt my own little group. Yeah, and a lot of malt whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Mus music can overrate friendship. <laughs> Friends in the band, really. <laughs> and um, do you care to talk a bit about your influences? Everything, um, I've played bits and pieces of everything, so it's kind of like a scrapbook of all different stuff. Uh, yeah, I suppose like it would, my kind of heroes would be the likes of Andy Irvine, that kind of stuff. Um, so, from a folk point of view, but also, yeah, also like yeah, a bit of a kind of a progressive rock head as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Pink Floyd. It, it, it's it's prob probably only because of um, the, the fact that you're a duo and the music you play, but there, there's a real sense of um, Django Reinhardt and Stefan Grappelli and yeah. some of the stuff that you do. Yeah, it's definitely an influence. You really bounce off yeah. each other. Yeah, it was just a transfer of you know, musical knowledge. Is Try, yeah, trying to do stuff as well, because like, I got into doing jazz, went and did a jazz course in Scotland and came back, and it really changed uh, how I played the fiddle. It just totally opened up so many doors, so I think, and that was when we kind of started playing together and trying to do original music. Yeah. So definitely that had a, an influence on like the chord progressions that we'd put in or how we'd look at chords and melodies and keys and stuff. And it's good to hear that, you know, starting a new project as well. You know, so yeah. it kind of directs it somewhat, I suppose. Yeah. You know. And yeah. Full Chateau track we played tonight, playing it down in uh, UL. That's right, pretty, yeah. Pretty great, like, at a... Any knives thrown though? No. <laughs> no, Sorry, no, no, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, the, the tunes were like the four chateau, the, the seven, eight tunes and all that. We've played them up in, in Dublin at like eight saucy Sundays and stuff, and they get a good reaction. Yeah. I want to say there would be a lot of folk who would know right yet about what we're doing, but yeah, test the water and hopefully, hopefully, you know. I think part of the fun is trying to put your finger on exactly yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you know, it's a thing you There's can, something there for kind of everyone as well. Like, yeah, know, definitely, yeah. When you're doing 10,000 amounts of genres and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, you, you seem to have um, 
will you to, to me anyway you really seem to be enjoying yourself in your live show that, that I've watched uh, before and do, do you think that translates to the audience you know do you think they're responding kind I hope like, so say like so. well to, um, what, what would your, your favourite gig be say for audience participation and all around a lot of contenders like yeah for audience but uh, we've played different gigs you know when you've got your audience is sitting down and not saying a word but you know you've got them yeah. you know because mm -hmm. they're not saying a word you know and we've played gigs where folk are falling about in front of us yeah, and still going ah, ah, ah. So, <laughs> it's hard to know they both have their merits yeah you know and we get and I think it's the other thing we can we've a set that can tailor to both you know we can go and play in an arts theatre yeah. where it's all dark and everybody's sitting there and it's great or we can go and play on a stage where it's rock on you know You'd we've done quite a few different gigs yeah, like over the year so the entire art centre has to be like one, oh, great, one of my yeah. favourite gigs because they just did out the stage just with you know it was kind of it's an old church and whatnot yeah. and they had these huge chairs huge backs on them like it was it was just just really good yeah. you know, put in a bit of effort and it was yeah. it was a good gig mm, great sound yeah. as well yeah it's good <laughs> mm. Um, if if I was to ask you to maybe give any advice to to budding musicians who, who might like to follow in your footsteps, uh, what would you say to them? You, you've been at this for for a long while now. Practice, practice. and listen and learn, yeah. and keep practicing. When you've no play, gigs, keep practicing. Play with lots of different people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're, play, you're, but you're both uh, guilty yeah. of that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for wonder a better <laughs> term. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think there's any substitution for getting. Uh, folk that are learning how to play live, yeah. you know, any age, any instrument, they should be. First thing you should do is get out there and get used That's to it. it. You know, mm. get you over can, that. You can overcome any. Yeah, any anxiety, it, yeah. Play a little yeah. bit every day. Mm. Yeah, and so so practice. Every day. <laughs> every and day. stay with her way. <laughs> 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 the dala dala is all coming up here. <laughs> um, uh, right, uh, last half. Um, are you planning to go into the studio anytime soon? Um, well, we've just been recording away over the course of a year, mm. at least over a year now, ourselves. So yeah, we're about eighty percent, seventy percent, kind of towards our yeah our finished project. Don't know when it'll be finished, but well, yeah. Are you, are you keeping it uh, to the two of you, or do you have guest musicians? Just the two of us. Just two of us. Yeah. Excellent. Got this one anyway. We'll see what mm. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the future, but anyway. And it was a good experience in all of you. Yeah, it is. It's been great fun. Yeah, it's been great fun, I'd say. It's great. Yeah. And to see the light then the tunnel makes it even better as well. You know? <laughs> we're getting, we know we've got we're, we're almost there, you know, but uh, the lighting of it and putting it together is good. Okay. Um, that wasn't the last point. The last point is something that we do every week. Uh, do you have a favourite joke you could tell us? That I can tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be as risky as possible. I don't uh, mind. No, no, I won't tell a joke, but um, like I just think if you just open up the newspaper, you'll see enough like joke and then that's right. I mean, there's there's enough jokes out there. Come on, like this one, <laughs> <laughs> one big joke. <laughs> <laughs> the paper, on the other hand, that's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> In the news, in the media, whatever media works, like, there's enough jokes. That, uh, well, um, I, I, I think that's, that's all we have for today. Shady remembering jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, remember yeah. Tunes. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that is all we have for today. So, um, everything Mads. in the media except Frank Shev. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, oh geez, we'll take it. We'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're the younger buddy of the media. <laughs> <laughs> you see the underworld. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lads, it's been an absolute pleasure having man. you on, and all the best with your future endeavors. Thanks, thanks, yeah, thanks very much, man. Cheers, man. Uh, that wraps it up for Frank Sheds, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.